a hop beetle. Eh, I'm going to keep the beetle. Why not? It's probably, I'm going to call him Ringo as well. <laughs> you get it? A beetle like the beetles. I want to hold you. Okay, yeah, I know you got it. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Orcish Inn. I'm your host, the super comfy orc man, known as Falcon. Let's get underway here today. So, uh, as you can see, we have our little... Hey, what are you doing there, little worm guy? Look at this guy. He's just over here dancing for us. How you doing, buddy? Oh, you want to come over here and play on my little field? You can do that. It's fine. A anyway, I'm getting over here distracted. Uh, let's find out about the state of our... Fully growing one day. So tomorrow, this will be ready to go again. I'm very excited about that. Um, what I want to focus on today is probably more fertilizing chances because I want to completely extend this... Um, farming area further down below still. Plus we have a couple of extra seeds that I want to start planting as well. So we got to get all that into consideration here today. So let me start off by going over to Merchant Man and let me buy some more of these seeds here because why not? Fertilizer is always good. You got some more yeast, huh? I think I'm good with yeast for now, so eh, screw it. Let's just buy it. Okay, I'll just buy that. What about our nail situation? I think we're good, but we will be building a lot more going forward, so... I mean, I'm not looking to buy 2,000 nails, I don't think, but... Perhaps, like, 50 more or so? That's gonna be 600, huh? That's a big margin right there. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop with the buying. Is there anything I could sell you here that I don't need? Uh, no, it seems for the most part we're fine. We have wet, heavy bedding. Washing bedding isn't fun with such heavy cloud. It, if put in the bed, it has a bed comfort of 25%. Given a selected quality. Wh what? R really? But this is wet. <laughs> Don't I have to dry it first? I could put you in my bed? No way. Get out of here. Get, get out of here. I just did. Oh, good God almighty. Why is there a fucking chain around it, too? It worked. Um, what's the comfort level here now? Is it com- It says wet, that's the reason why I'm kind of worried about it, but... If I'm right, I got this from fishing at some point. The bed comfort affects the player's stamina restoration. Visitors have a 50% increase, okay. Not wake up while they're items, okay. Washing beddings isn't fun. It says it has a bed comfort of 25%, so does that mean that from the 100%, it's dropping it down to 25? Or does it mean like it's literally giving me a 25% boost? Like normally there is, um, you can see the comfort level of some- Well actually, let's just build something in here really quick, because I'm quite curious about this now. I'm not sure if this is a bad thing or a good thing to have here. So, let's really quickly build something to see if the- Oh, here it goes. Dorm comfort's at 30%. But that's what it originally was sad. Yeah, it was already at 30%, so this isn't doing much for us. I don't think. Well, I'll leave it there, I guess. Why not? Um, let's build a couple more things here because we still have some time before my harvest comes in anyway. And I kind of want to deck out the house with some really cool stuff if we can. So, we have a bookshelf. 25 comfort points. I like that a lot. Do it. Oh, we could put the cupboards inside now. Like civilized people as not opposed to savages. So, you know what? All this here has got to go. You come with me. What are you filled with? You're just filled with bread. So, that's fine. You come with me. What about you guys? Leaves? <laughs> My leaf collection? Uh, I'm gonna probably move the... the hawker thing somewhere else because, again, I don't want him here. Because it'll kind of like block a lot of my farming area over time. So, I'm gonna move that somewhere else pretty soon. Um, before you fly off, my friend, let me... sell... that, that, and that, just to get rid of the extra spot here. That should be it. The tent? Sell the tent! Don't need it anymore, man. We got a little house now. Okay. So that's cool. Now, it seems like we have stopped... he's leaving. That's cool. We've stopped making bread. That's because we... oh. Why is that? Oh, we're out of, um... no, we're not out of oats. Oh, you're out of wood. That would make sense. There you go. No? Oh, sorry. I gave you ten. All you do... all you need is just one. Like, fuck, come here. Okay, stop it. Stop being so foolish. So there we go. We're good now. Everything good. Alright, that'll be the last of our bread coming in. Oh, and look at this here. This actually started doing what I was um, talking about last time, how it fills up one area and then it stops. Now, apparently by putting them literally around a sawmill, not the connective ones, but the, around the sawmill, will indeed dump off to one area, fill it up, and then move to the other one. So it literally has to be all the way around. So technically speaking, unfortunately for us, by building a sawmill next to, or 
I guess in front of this little raised area. I can't put any sort of lumber yards behind it to collect more over time, but at least now we have learned, and more importantly, I could just put one right here too, so there is that. Um, but yeah, it does indeed work as I expected it to, I just had the wrong positioning for it, so I'm not too surprised. But you know what, let's actually collect the planks, because we're still building anyway, so having them ready to go is not a bad thing. I do believe I have a couple of more logs here to throw in. We have one extra log over here that we're carrying around. Cool. Um, let's come back inside. And it is sleeping time after all. Should we test out our new little bed? Well, let's give, a, give it a bit more comfort points first. Uh, let's put down the cupboard that we had outside. Because we're fucking savages here. What do you mean? What do you mean you can't place it there? There he goes. Okay. 32 comfort points. I thought those were five points. Oh, it's it's a percent value, not I get you. It's a percent value, Falcon. Not the overall quality. I see. Um, so let's build that bookshelf, which is apparently 50 points. That's gonna be over here. Bookshelf, it's 25 points. Well, whatever. It's still a good number. Um, we'll have that maybe over here. I like to wake up or maybe just like sleep to reading a couple of books or something. There you go. That's looking nice and comfy. That's looking very nice and comfy. And we're at 37% comfort. Let's get some sleep. Actually, let's get some food first. And let's see how our stamina regens now, or regenerates now. Wit. Hey, that's a lot better. That's faster regeneration than it was like sleeping in that tent. That's awesome. So we could actually get a full night's sleep now. This is great. Ha <laughs> ha! We've done it, guys. All right. Now I'm curious, what goes in this bookshelf other than books? Can I put whatever I want in here? Like, could I literally put sawdust? No, not a lot in this storage. You telling me I can make books and put them in there? <laughs> Find books and put them in there? I'm excited about that. Um, for now, let's put in all the bread. I do want to carry some with me just in case. We'll do like, I oh, don't know, like eight or something. Well, we do got to eat now, so let's eat first. Do that. We have to go get in our harvest too, by the way. So that's cool. Sawdust will sell. Yeast and... Got this extra oak log still. Okay. Hey, buddy, you're just in time, because I'm going to do some selling here to you pretty soon. Now, if we allow this to hang out here for one extra day, remember, we get seeds back. So, you know what? Maybe we don't harvest right now, and we harvest tomorrow when we get some seeds. So, we'll get the items back then, and we'll also have the seed for it, so we could do, like, a double profit thing. So, you know what? Not collecting anything here, but you guys do seem to be... Pro oh, you're growing in two more days, huh? All righty. Well, our hops are coming in, too, for the beer. <laughs> All right. So, let's see. With this done, I kind of want to go out and explore our biome. I haven't done that just yet, so I'm not sure what else is out there. I did want to build a couple of more things, though, before we do book it. Just because I have so many planks, so I might as well just kind of use them up for stuff. So, I mean, hell. Why not two bookshelves? Why stop in one? We have, like, I don't know, romance and drama, and then the other one would be, like, mystery or something. My orc loves romance and drama. What? What about it? You never heard of an orc that loves romance and drama? You need to get out more, man, okay? Orcs can indeed love romance and drama. Uh, silo is going to be for crops. Uh, yeah, that's something we'll be doing here right now. Mailbox. Mailboxes are an important way to communicate with others. You will receive mail, if any, every morning. You can send mail and send items to others by wrapping them in postage. Really? Should we do this? <laughs> sure, I, I guess we will. Sign? A wooden sign on which you can write something. Really? <laughs> All these things are kind of like foreign to me. Sure, let's get a mailbox. Okay. I, I I would like to get some mail every day. Why not? Let's place the mailbox right over here. Hey, look at that. We got our own mailbox too. Cool. <laughs> what else can we create here? Now I'm just very curious about everything in here. Got the silo. All right, those are the stuff we don't need. And the chest inside give you points. Perfect. We do have a couple of those too place back down, actually, where I had my... <laughs> this is where I had my original collection of leaves, if you can believe it or not. Let's line them up down here, though, huh? So, chest, chest. Look at that, we're up to 44 dorm, dorm comfort. Now, can we set up a table, maybe, so we could have, like, legitimate breakfast sometimes? I like to sit down and have, like, breakfast, you know? I think my orc would like that. This is only one point. It seems like most of these are catered towards the tavern, though, not for comfort. A nightstand. Oh, Jesus. Wrong one. Oh, wh what was I at? Mirror? I would love to get the mirror one, but we need amber for that. Nightstand. 
50 dorm points. Hey, we can make this one very easily, too. The night sent is a special storage. When placed in a dorm room, visitors who stay a night may place their belongings in it, which they may forget. You can even sneak in and steal it? But be prepared for the consequences when you get caught. You could steal as the tavern manager. Oh my god, I need to get this tavern up and running soon, then. <laughs> well, let's start... I want to have this one for my comfort level alone, really. But that's awesome. This is actually very awesome. Uh, let's place it down. Ideally, I should move a bookshelf over and just place this over it. But, um, whatever. Can I... No, that's the wall, right? Like, can I really not place you up against the wall? Like, it feels like they're always, like, one square ahead, you know? Like, this right here, I think, counts as the wall. Let, let me give it a try, just to be sure. Yeah, I can literally place it up against the wall. It's gonna be, like, one square forward. Okay, well, you know, it is what it is. And we're at what now? 54% comfort. Okay, I'll take it. So, that's done. We'll maybe get some mail. This will be collected tomorrow. I think I'm good to go. Fireplace, ooh. All right, but I have no idea. To, I have no idea how to get straw just yet. Colors. Hmm. Indoor floors. Outdoor floors. Neutralized floor. Reset the floor to its basic type so it doesn't work with every floor type. It's mostly used to get rid of indoor floors. Oh, I see. A bridge. Bridges are placed on water. Let you and your visitors cross rivers. And ooh, really? That does require a lot of um, planks, as you saw. Like it was like a hundred per square. But it could be very useful down the line. Okay. Well, either way, what I want to do is I want to go out and start exploring the biome here a little bit to see if we can find some cool stuff. Now, before I run off, I think it would be very ideal to make sure that this is actually collecting stuff for us. So let's do this. And I'm going to place you on the outside ones where you don't get normally dumped off to. And can I possibly put some in here? Yes, I can. And this will be for bread. Take that. And you are my ingots. Which over here. Okay. So that's cool. And I guess whatever's left over here, we could just um, fill it up that way. Because I want to take some room with me, because we're going to probably go out and scavenge some items, so I need to make sure I'm not too overburdened myself. And right now, I have, like, a lot of planks, so we are kind of overburdened. So, sell. Keep the seeds. Got a lot of decorative planks on me still. Yeah, it's really the, the planks that are weighing me down. So, ideally, how about I just make a couple more of these yards before I leave? Utility. Let's make two more, or three more, which would require, I think, like... 12? It's four per, right? I'll grab a few extra just in case, but I think it's uh, four per, so... No, no, not Oryard. This one here. Yeah, it is four. So we'll be able to, like, do two more. So I'll place one here. Here. And this will be for wood, or planks, and planks. We're at 343 of 720. I still have a significant amount on me. So let's just grab two more. And I guess we'll just place you here. Okay, 221 of 720. That's a lot better. I'll deal with that. Let's get some food and let's go out there. Alrighty, off to the world. We found a skull. I guess this is where I got my bones from. Like, not literally my bones. I've, I've always had bones as an orc, I assure you. But I guess the ones in my inventory. So over here, I guess it's one of those places we could probably build a bridge, assuming there was no way to get through. I do have rope, so I can go up through here. What is this? Are you like a mushroom? Buddy. It is a mushroom. Hey, we got a mushroom. What the hell are you here? Guidepost? Oh, or just a guidepost to I don't get lost or something? Okay. What are you guys supposed to be? Gee, I'm, I'm like so, like, I haven't gone out and explored yet, so everything to me is kind of like, what are you supposed to be? Oh my god. I'm going to bring this shell with me, too. Mushrooms up there. I have a couple of ropes to kind of go up if I have to. So, as a matter of fact, 
Let's start putting down some ropes. We have 14, so we're cool. I'll place you down through here. Let's see. Mushroom? You're coming with me, Toad. What else? Purple flowers, okay. Ooh, we got like a weird little marshland thing happening over here. And again, if we need some more trees, we obviously have a lot to come over here to farm if we need to. I won't be doing that now, but at least now we know what's around here. I'm just gonna try to collect all the weird stuff for this trip. You're not weird, but you're in the way. Uh, let's see. Down through here, I guess we'll probably set up another rope. Ooh. What are you? Just a regular flower of some kind? You're a tulip. You have seen before. Hmm. Okay. Well, it seems like we have to set up another rope here. It's kind of hard sometimes to differ like differentiate like what the levels are. Like if I'm walking over here, like you see how this disappears, so I'm like thinking, am I in the same level? But no, I'm actually not. Although I guess maybe if I cut down the grass, you'll be able to tell easier. Yeah, okay. So if you cut down the grass, you'll be able to tell what the levels are. But I mean, who's got time to cut down fucking random grass? You know, I don't got time for that. I'm a busy orc, man. I run a farm. <laughs> and eventually a tavern. Uh, so you even go further up over here. Now, hold up. I'm curious about... Get out of the way. Get out of the way, Bark. I, I haven't got lost, have I? This feels, like, really different to me and, like, new. Where the fuck's my house? A am I... Yo. Yo. Look, first and foremost, that looks pretty cool down here. <laughs> but I'm lost, I think. Oh, this is my farm. This is my farm. I'm good. You're like a really... What the hell did I just pick up right now? You look like a multi-colorful seed thing. A berry bush! No way! Yeah! I'm gonna make some berry bushes soon. Alright, you need to go away because I, I want to see what this guy back here is. What, what are you supposed to be, Red? Are you for coloring reasons or what? It could be. It is. It's a rose, actually. <laughs> I thought it was for like to color down the materials like we saw over there. But apparently not. Um, oh, here we go, of course. Grass, gotta get out of the way so I can see. But this is actually near our farm, like quite literally on our farm. So, ideally, what I could do is... I guess put the rope here, for one. That'll kind of get me close to it. Okay, so we can just kind of like shortcut back... Oh, fuck. Nope. Oh, it shouldn't leave me alone. All right, there's no, there's no fence to the outside, so I gotta do this. I should probably put a, like remove one of these fences. I don't think it's gonna really ruin the, the quality of my crops. So just having one at least. So, uh, I guess we could do it through here. Yeah, let's just remove that one. So I have a way to get back anytime. All right, cool. So we kind of like did a full circle, and it worked out. Okay, and we'll probably go back there again pretty soon, but. We did one trip, and I'm kind of like I'm liking what I saw. There's a lot more to explore up in the north. But that's cool. What about you? You're probably almost done, huh? But we've made a ton of planks, which is great. So, with this done, I guess we just probably sleep for the night. Where's my... What am I looking for, Brad? Bulletus. Restores 32% hunger. Really? Wow, these mushrooms are actually quite a good. Is there, like, a, a downside? Oh, here we go. The fly agarac is a poisonous mushroom. Yeah, I don't think I want to eat you. This is common and tasty, so this one's good, but this one right here apparently is poisonous. Nonetheless, many shamans use them to get ready for their rites. Hmm. Hmm. And this right here restores hunger and 7% stamina. Interesting. I'm quite intrigued by everything I'm reading here at the moment. Anyway, let's actually eat some bread. I don't want to eat random mushrooms here for now. It might not be too good for me. And get yourself some proper sleep over here for the night, Orc Man. I'm loving all these positive effects we got going on here, too. Just because we're doing a good job keeping this guy fed and... Have a proper house and everything. Good quality sleep, it does seem. Let's get some bread here for the day. Oh, and today's our, our harvest day, too. I'm excited about that. Um, let's pick up... Eh, maybe like five of you. You, my friend, are in for a treat. I got some stuff for you here. Let's, um, collect. And we should get a seed for... Excuse me. Where the fuck are my seeds at? 
I was under the impression they all gave you a CD view at an extra day. So it's just random? I guess it's random. Maybe I should have probably read the description closer, Falcon. Yeah, maybe. That's a good idea. That's a good point. Sure. Reading, huh? How <laughs> about that? People read. Well, whatever. I'm sure we'll get enough seeds back. Hopefully. I need them back because I need to sell them to this guy again. I guess the, the ones that I see very... Oh, you know what it is? The ones that seem to give me a seed every single time are the hops. Or the oats, I should say. The beets don't really give me a seed every single time because obviously you can make quite a bit of a killing because the beets sell for a lot of money. So I guess it's kind of like a way to make sure you don't game the system and have like a ton of money just by doing the beats over and over. That could be it. Because we only got 15 back for 23. So while with the oats, we got 34 oats and 32 of them back. So there's definitely a bigger disparity between them. So nah, that would make sense. Okay. I understand what the game's up to. I don't want you to break my game. That's what I'm understanding from all this. And it's fine. So you, let's go ahead now and sell the old sugar beets too. 8,200, I will take it. And that's really about, I got a wooden fence. You want this wet fence? No, you don't want it? Zero? Well, take it still, you jerk. Get grass away, get the leaves away. A hop beetle? Eh, I'm gonna keep the beetle, why not? Surprise, I'm gonna call him Ringo as well. <laughs> <laughs> you get it? A beetle like the beetles. I want to hold you. Okay, yeah, I know you got it. Um, anyway, seeds, I want you, you, and you, and fertilizer always. Okay, so that is cool. Um, I guess now, luckily for us, since we have more plants or more seeds, we can indeed bring in bigger harvests now, I hope. And we do have a little bit of extra fertilizer too. But right now, I need to get rid of all this shit here. I can't believe the sawmill is still going. Yo, it's completely filled everything next to it, too. No, I had those already filled up. But you're still going. My god. Talk about... Oh, it stopped right now. It got a little bit shy. It's kind of like, well, fine, you fucker. I'll stop right now. <laughs> That's weird how that just worked out. Um, you guys aren't ready yet, right? One more day and we'll have our hops ready for beer. Okay, I'm excited about that, too. So, right now, let's go to fertilizer. I need to find out how many I can make. 13 more. Okay. So let's do bam bam. That will bring us down to 11. This will bring us down to 6. And we'll have one more left over. And I guess, I guess I'll just hold on to the extra one. But now we've extended our oats and our sugar beets field quite a bit downward. That's great. Which is what I'm hoping to do. And now we go back into planting mode. And you know what? Because I'm, I'm curious, I'm going to probably plant the Colossus carrot seed as well. Even if it doesn't go with the other ones. What about it, huh? Huh? You worried about my OCD affecting me about that one? Yeah, it's gonna probably affect me pretty badly, but it's okay. I'll deal with it. Grass? No, I'm not planting grass, man. You're out of your mind. Sugar beets. Okay. So sugar beets down through here. I don't think we'll fill everything up, but, um, hey. A lot better than before. Next. Hops? Nope. Oat. Yeah. And we have 42 of those. Great. So bring it all down through here. Oh, wow. We're actually going to have more hops left over. Or oats left over. Yeah, we have two left over. Which isn't really too much. You know what? I'll just place you right here in the middle of this guy. Because you all have the same growing time anyway. And the other thing I want to do is, let's see. What are the extra ones that we have? Hop seeds. No, you, you're probably better situated over here because of the wetness and all that bullshit I have to deal with. Uh, what about the berry bush seed? High wetness. Atrophy 4. Windbreak. No plant density. So you want to be alone, don't you? Like, all the way out here alone. Now, hold up. Let's find out. Hmm. It seemed like berries over here would not do too well because the windbreak isn't really too great for it. It's, like, better off on this side. It would seem. What about the wetness? Fully wet. <laughs> Don't you guys laugh about that. Don't you dare. Um... Like, somewhere over there would be very ideal for you, huh? You know what? What if, uh... I'm curious. I have, like, one piece of fertilizer left. I'm, I'm very curious about this. Can I place you, like, over here? I can! There! We have one random berry bush growing. Because <laughs> why not? Because why not? Oh, the... the oh, the other writing's gonna kill me, though. Plant density. Oh no, I put the wrong. No, no, Falcon, you put the wrong seed. You fool. Can I? Can I get? Can I get my seed back? Yo, I got my seed back. Okay. Whew. Whew. 
Hold up, no. It was supposed to be the berry. There you go. No, oh, I clicked on it because I'm a dum-dum. Okay, hold up. Here it is. I was like, why is it so low? I thought it was supposed to be good. All right, let's check it out now. Oh, main season rating, Autumn. <laughs> 16 days. Well, whatever. The atrophy isn't really that great. But in 16 days, we'll have one single berry bush, baby. Eat your heart out. <laughs> oh, good God. I, I like... Just, I like fucking around with this game more than anything else at this point. Just find out how I can do stuff and just screw around with it. Um, did we get any mail? <gasps> we have mail, guys! Oh my god, the daily report? Uh, the envelope is closed and you can't see what's inside. Right click on the item to open it. Thank you for sending us the data. We calculated the last day statistics for you. This service is paid with your taxes. Please check the following pages. Across all clans, zero. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be like nothing but information, unfortunately for us. We haven't really opened up a tavern yet. Do I have any like any letters from like my my grandma, granny orc or anything? Oh, we got oh shit, we got some stuff out of that. We got some envelopes, I think. We got some envelopes and stamps, I think. Okay. Cool. Well, this is something I got to look into because I don't know anything about this, but I'm I'm quite intrigued by it. Are, are you stuck on my? Go go away, letter. The letter's stuck on my my screen here. There, it's gone now. <laughs> Alrighty. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. The support does me a lot. Um, if you guys want to see some more, do let me know. Continue going. Uh, right now, I'm going to just stop here. I'll see how the episodes do. I'll wait for your feedback, and then we'll make a decision after this one here. But so far, I'm having a blast with it. I still got to make that in, too, right? Of course we do. It's a tavern, tycoon, orcish in-game after all, Falcon. I will catch you next time.